It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the Science Bowl, the science quiz program here in the Prince George's County Public Schools, where we test scientific IQs. I hope you play along and test your own today. Let's meet today's team, six outstanding young people, all of whom won their first game. They're here today to decide who moves on in the competition. First from Greenbelt Elementary, would you say hello to Julia Powell, Noah Eubanks, and Wesley Thorson Romaneron. And from Pointer Ridge Elementary, here they are, Taylor Sterling, Aiden McFarlane, and Carrington Boyd. Now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen sink. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to the difficulty of the question. The easier questions there on the left worth 5 and 10. The tougher ones, 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds today, we will have a contender for Robert Goddard Montessori in the semifinals. So let's go over and make sure everything's working properly. Let's go to that red team. Noah, would you try that buzzer? A-OK. -okay. Good luck to you, Julia, and to Wesley. And Aiden, give it a push. That's the way to do it, young man. Good luck to you and to Carrington and to Taylor. I just have to say congratulations. You've made it through the first rung, and you are on your way. All of you are really good students. We're proud of you all. Thank That's, you. You're quite welcome. <laughs> let's have a good game. We go alphabetically G before P. So, Noah, let's play this bowl. Um, green things for five. Green things for five points. There is a bird, a yellow-bellied bird with a kind of a funny name that pokes holes in the cambium of trees and sucks out this liquid, Aiden. Sap. Yeah, it's the yellow-bellied sap sucker. I just like saying that. Go green. Uh, can we do body systems for 20? Body systems for 20 points, you can indeed. Teams, people say that hindsight is always perfect vision it has this rating. What are the numbers that indicate perfect vision? <laughs> Noah. Pastor Julia. Julia. 2020. You got that, honey. 2020, absolutely right. It's a TV show as well. Go green. Or excuse me, red. Um, uh, zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Teams, just like us humans, snails can be righties or lefties. Well, they don't have hands, but they have these, depending on whether they go clockwise or counterclockwise. What parts of their body go clockwise or counterclockwise? Noah? Uh, Pastor Julia? They are shells. They're shells, absolutely right. Yeah, you, you wouldn't think that they would be different, but they are. Red, again. Um, green things for 10? Green things for 10 points. Team spices are plant parts that are aromatic, but they're not leaves. Like cinnamon is actually the bark of a tree and saffron, the stamens of a flower. Cloves are these plant parts that are unopened. What are plant parts that have yet to open? What do we call those? Noah? Buds. Buds, yeah. Clove is an unopened flower bud. Good. Go again. Noah? Uh, zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five points. Interesting question, kind of an English question as, not, as much as a science question. Teams, uh, sheep, shrimp, tuna, cattle, and deer are all animals in which their singular 
form is the same as this form. So if you have more than Noah. And Pastor Julia. Julia. There are um, multiple form. Multiple form, judges? Not quite, not quite. Did Pointer Ridge ring in yet? No, Pointer Ridge, you have not had a chance? All right, so sheep and tuna and cattle, those are names like in other animals. Their singular is the same as their what? Oh, Pastor Taylor. Plural. Plural, that's what I want. Yeah, you don't say, look at the sheeps or look at the tunas. One word suffices. Okay, kind of a different kind of question. I'm glad you were able to think that through and we could give some points. 90 to 60, advantage green. Okay, uh, let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, this is kind of interesting. The buffaloes that live in Yellowstone National Park have bad teeth. Huh? Yeah, because all of the volcanic steam coming out is filled with this F initial chemical that sometimes makes teeth stronger, but is weakening theirs. Point to Ridge. Fluoride. Fluoride, that's it, good, green. <laughs> I like how you celebrate over there. Okay. Here too, you guys dance, go. Uh, body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, the receptors on your tongue that are sensitive to acid are the same receptors that are sensitive to this basic taste. Aiden. Taste buds? No, I, I want to know the specific taste that is receptive to the same, is responsive to the same chemicals as acids. Pastor Julia? Julia. Glan? No, sour, sour. Oh. Acids and sour, like sour, like lemons and yes. sour, that's, okay. Don't beat yourself up, you'll get it next time. Go green. Uh, can we do green things for 15, please? Green things for 15 points, get this one right and you will be in the lead. Teams, there is a shortage of vanilla. Oh my gosh, how are we gonna make chocolate chip cookies? There's a shortage of vanilla because there aren't enough animals to perform this procedure on the... Noah. Pastor Julia. Pollinators? Yeah, there are no pollinators, so they have to be hand pollinated. Thanks, Julia, good answer. Go red. Um, <clears throat> Zoo Parade for 15. Zoo Parade for 15 points is a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studios, if you will. If you know Star Wars movies, these are the Gungans. The Gungans live on land, and they live in water, meaning they are what kinds of animals? Green belt? Am amphibians. Amphibians, you got that right. Good, go. Um, science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, dense fogs that are filled with soot and dirt are often described as being like this kind of soup. What kinds of soup? is often used to describe a really dense fog of green belt. Pastor Julia. Julia. Pea soup. Pea soup, that's right. They call them pea soup fogs. You're on a roll here, Julia. Nicely done. That buzzer says our first round is over, and let's check out that score. It's almost a dead heat. Green belt 105, Pointer Ridge 90, part two coming up. Don't you go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. So nice to have you here at this special edition, two teams having won once, vying for the chance to move on. And as you just saw there, we got some, we got some dancers on the set here. They, they like our Science Bowl music and we, we like having them here. Let's find out about the Greenbelt team. Noah, tell us the name of your principal. Um, Miss Gaines. Miss Gaines and the sponsor of your team. Uh, Miss Allison. Wonderful. And the sponsor, the alternate on your team. Carly. Carly, yeah, Carly's out there. She's rooting for you. And you told me how much fun it is at Greenbelt, that there's the teachers make you laugh and they make jokes. What are some of the extracurricular activities you have available to you at Greenbelt, you know, other than Science Bowl? Robotics, Robotics Club, um, Running Club, which is new. It started mm -hmm. last year. Nice. Uh, write a book. Uh, write a book um, <laughs> art, like recycled art club. Um, there are a lot of them. I can't I mean, really think of all of them. That's a, no, you did a very nice job there. Write a book is one of the best things in the county here. I hope you guys participate in that. That's a wonderful exercise. And Noah, you're still thinking about what you want to do when you get older, yeah. but you know what? You, you got it together. I like that you have a sense of fun, but you're serious mm -hmm. too, and you need to be serious. Wesley, nice to have you here. You like Noah, you're kind of figuring out what to do with life, but yeah. I know you're a cyclist and you really like that trail around Buddy Attic Lake over there, right? Yeah. Yeah, in Greenbelt, it's a great place. You're at one with nature. 
and you're wearing uh, matching shirts over there. Mm -hmm. What are those things on there, Wes? Peace, love, and greyhounds. Peace, love, and greyhounds. I like that. That's a good combination. You're a good player, too. And Julia, nice to have you here, young lady who's had some dental work done. And boy, she's, she's the trooper. She's here playing on you. Do, how do you know so much about science? Because you really do. Um, well, I would read a lot, and I find that everything you do, you can uh, sometimes find like a like random fact and stuff. Like I like remember those random facts, like that are like in some like things. Like they might not be about science, but you occasionally they'll add like a, um, a random fact. Absolutely. And you know, you learn from everything. And if you keep your ears open and you, you hear something, it's like if you hear a word you've never heard before and you find out what it means, you feel better because you've kind of added to your education. You've obviously been a good listener. I know you want to grow up and be creative. You want to do something with, uh, with cartoons. You want to make something and entertain people. Well, you're doing a nice job today. Pointer Ridge, Aiden, tell us the Aiden story. What do you do, what do, you do in your spare time? Uh, I like to read and play games with my brother. Yeah. How old's your brother? Uh, he's six. Six. So he's looking up to you, right? You're the role model. You're the captain here today. Tell us about Pointer Ridge. Who's the principal there? Um, our principal from Pointer Ridge is Dr. Stevenson. Yeah, she's a really good principal, too, just like Miss Gaines is over at Greenbelt. Tell me who the sponsor of your team is. Um, the sponsor of our team is Miss Reedy. The one and only. She's been with us for many years, and I know how hard she works. And an alternate on your team? Uh, our alternate is Hatter. Hatter, yeah, and he's out there. I can hear him almost yelling through the walls here. <laughs> and uh, Aiden, what are you going to do someday? Uh, I want to be a baseball player yeah. or a designer. Or a designer. You got, you got energy, man. I really like you. You play our game well, and, and uh, you're going to be successful. Carrington, nice to have you here. Why did you want to be on this show? I wanted to be on Science Bowl because it sounded, it was new, and it sounded really fun because you get, it's, it's like Jeopardy, and I love Jeopardy. <laughs> And I'm glad we have an addition here that you can be on, because if you can do this, maybe we'll see you on Jeopardy someday. Like the guy this week, he's winning hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know, you never know where all these facts will take you. And when you grow up, what do you want to do? I want to be either a doctor or a professional ball, basketball player. Um, I want to be a doctor so when, after my basketball career is over, I can have something to fall oh, back on. Fall back on. You're a smart lady. Smart lady. <laughs> Athletic lady, too, and you got it all played out. You're a good player, and Taylor, Taylor, you're a great player, too. Now, you were telling me you want to be an actress someday, yeah? Yes. Do you see, do you like to make people laugh? Do you want to make them cry? Are you going to be comedic actress, dramatic actress? What do you think you might want to do? Well, I'm not, I'm not pretty sure yet, but I just really want to be an actress someday. Why so? Why, why did you get the acting bug? Well, because I always wanted to be on TV, and I've been on TV once, and this is like my second time, so I thought that this might help me. Absolutely. Every little thing, every experience helps. And you got nice poise, and you got a great smile, and you're playing well. You're going to be good on TV. Anytime, anytime. Let's go back to our game. 80 for Pointer Ridge, 125 for Greenbelt. Last correct answer came from the red team. So, Noah, let's rock and roll here. Um, let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, this is the only substance on Earth that floats when it's frozen. Oh, ice. Ice or water. Absolutely right. Yeah. Go again. Green. Um, can we do, let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Team, some of you might have heard of a Foucault's pendulum. It swings back and forth, and there are all these little black pegs that they knock over as it swings back and forth. As those pegs fall over, it lets us know that the Earth does what? Noah. Rotates. It rotates on its axis. Yes, sir. Good answer. Go, Red. Um. Where um, next? Dateline science for five. Dateline science for five points is a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio. They were so happy at the National Zoo recently. This little baby was born. It is a screaming version. Of what armored animal that rolls itself up into a ball, Aiden? Uh, armadillo. An armadillo is right. That's the screaming, hairy armadillo. Yeah. He was on Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, he screamed <laughs> for Jimmy Kimmel. Go green. 
Uh, green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, if you saw the movie The Wizard of Oz, you knew when they, you know when they threw the water on the Wicked, West, Wicked Witch of the West, she said, I'm melting, I'm melting. Well, if a flower or a plant is not getting enough water, it might say not a melting, but I'm wanting. Green belt. Wilting. Um, wilting? Wilting is right. Yeah, Julia, she gave you the good advice there. I'm wilting. Good. Great. I read. Um, let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. All right, teams, your question is as follows. Because there is no air in outer space, there is none of this force. Point to Ridge. Uh, gravity. Not gravity. Oh, I thought you might fall into that trap. What force is missing in outer space because there is no air, Noah? Past Wesley. Wes. Air resistance? Mm. Give me another name for that. Friction? Yeah, that's what I want to hear. Good comeback, young man. Go. Red. Um. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Team's multiple choice question. Y'all remember Hurricane Harvey, those poor people in Houston, all that flooding down there. There was no water to drink. So these Houstonians, were they looking for water that was permeable, potable, or premium? What were they looking for? Past Wesley. Wes. Potable? Potable, that's right. Potable is another word to describe drinkable water. Good. Red. Um, body systems for five. Body systems for five points. If you know scouting, boy scouting, when you first start out, you really aren't too tough. So the first rank in scouting is called tender what? Green belt. Foot. Tender foot. Yeah, tender foot. And it won't be so tender the more hiking you do and the tougher you get. Go, red. Um, Dateline science for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Okay, come on, Pointer Ridge, let's get back in this game here. Don't you give up on me. 10 points, Dateline science. Surgeons have just discovered an adhesive that sticks on wet surfaces. Boy, that is a big discovery. They found it because these snails that don't have shells ooze this stuff out. Oh, uh, Pastor Carrington. Car yes, um, Carrington. A slug, a slug, a slug, a slug. Yeah. No, a slug. A slug is right, yes indeed. I knew you had that on the tip of your tongue. Good, go, you're at the century care. mark. Let's get some more. Okay, uh, 25. Zoo Parade for 20. Zoo Parade for 20 points. All right, teams. Dolphins are very smart. They have learned that if they want to eat these cephalopods that have tentacles on them, they thrash them on the surface so that they're really dead, so the tentacles don't get stuck in their mouth. What are these tentacled animals that the dolphins are killing and eating? Squid. Not squid. Good try. Oh, Green belt. Past Wesley. Best. Octopi. Octopus is right. Yes, indeed. Go red. Um, Good try over there. Body systems. Stay with me. Body systems for ten. Body systems for ten points. Teams. There's a drug called Xarelto, you see it on TV, and it helps treat DVT, which means that blood clots can form in one of these V-initialed blood vessels. Green belt. Um. What you got? Noah? Um. Point of ridge. A veins, that's yes. right. Deep vein thrombosis. All right, you were waiting. You knew that one. Go, Aiden. Uh, science potpourri for 20. Potpourri, 20 points. Here's your question. Teams, if you buy an herbal medicine and it is marked, listen to me, G-R-S, it means that that drug is generally regarded as what? What is the S? Pastor Wesley. Wesley. Safe? Safe, that's it. Good, red. Um, science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, big words, simple answer. Scientists put sodium polyacrylate as the hydrogel inside these that babies often soil and use a lot of. Aiden. Um, Pastor Carrington, diapers? Diapers is right, yes ma'am. Go again. <laughs> okay, um, 15. No, body systems for 25. Body systems for 25, big one in that category. Teams, at the base of your spine are bones called the sacrum and the coccyx, your tail bones. The bones that make that up, like the rest of your spine, but the ones down there are fused together. What are those V initialed bones called Pointer Ridge? Uh, Pastor Carrington? Uh, I 
No, this, no, this one. Is it starts with a V? Mm, not quite. Green belt, you know the names of those V initial bones that are fused together to make your tailbone. I think they're vertebrate. You got that right, Julia. You came through for them. Vertebrate it is. Good, go. They gave them to Green. They gave it to Green? Well, we'll have to check on that. Okay. Are we good? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Go again, Red. Um, Thanks for keeping us on our toes. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline signs for 15 points. Teams, just recently, science were, scientists were able to replace genes inside of this developmental form of us in, the, in our mother's womb before it becomes a fetus. What is the stage before it becomes a fetus and after the egg has been fertilized? That's an embryo, an embryo. Go again, Red. Um, Dateline Science for 20. Dateline Science for 20 points. Teams, you probably saw it on TV. What a view it was in 1994. One of these celestial bodies whoosh, smacked right into Jupiter and created a crater. What was the name of, what was the name of that celestial body? Aiden. An asteroid. Not an asteroid. Good try. What kind of celestial body crashed into Jupiter, Noah? Uh, comet? Comet, yeah. The Shoemaker-Levy Comet. All right. We have four questions left here. Come on, Pointer Ridge. you got to get them all. you got to get them all. Green five, belt. I think it's five questions. Five. Excuse me. Go, Noah. Um, green things for 25? Green things for 25 points. All right, teams. If you go into the tropics, sometimes you will see these plants that you see in forests here that are always close to the ground and reproduce via spores the size of trees. Ferns. Ferns are tree size. Go red. Um, These are the tough ones. Zooparade for 25. Zooparade for 25. I think you can get this one. Come on, guys. Let's get this one. You know, elephants have big ears. Rabbits have big ears to hear better. But also, it helps them with these big ears to do this. What else does it help them do, Greenbelt? Um, to cool down? Yeah, it helps them regulate their temperature. Yeah, all that extra surface area. Good. All right, we got three left. Noah, where to? You're racking them up here. Um, let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25 points. All right, teams, it's kind of a math question. Can you do a math question? Listen to me. All right, if you want to change liters into gallons, you multiply liters by four. But if you, if you want to change these into miles, these metric measurements into miles, you multiply by 1.6. You want to change what? Into miles. Green belt. Pass to Wesley. Wes? Kilometers? Kilometers is yeah. right. Yes, indeed. Kilometers and miles multiplied by 1.6. All right. Where next? Uh, science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points. All right, teams. All right. I'm going to really make you work for these points. You've heard of sea cucumbers. There are also critters called sea pickles. They're these little things, and I'm going to describe them to me, and I want you to listen to these descriptions, and I want you to tell me, what's that mean? These sea, pi sea pickles are gelatinous, translucent, and bioluminescent. Can you give me two of the three? They're gelatinous, translucent, and bioluminescent, which means those sea pickles, what are they like? What do they do, Noah? Pastor Wesley. Come on, guys, talk among yourselves in case I have to come to you. Come on. Uh, they... Gelatinous, translucent, bioluminescent, sea pickles, weird little things. They glow. You can kind of see, and you can kind of see through them. And you can kind of see through them, then they glow, and they're gooey. Yeah, they're gooey. All right, the buzzer is rung. We've come the end of the game, and it looks like Green Belt is moving on. We'll be back in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back, everybody. What a game here today. It was back and forth for a while, and all six of our young players acquitted themselves beautifully. And our final tally today is Pointer Ridge, 125. Greenbelt, 345. You're headed to the semifinals. Julia and Noah and Wesley and Carly, she's jumping around back there. Their principal, Miss Gaines, is here. Miss Allison, very happy over there as their sponsor. And Noah can't wait to dance. And Aiden, let's see a big smile over there. You are, you're the man. You did a super job today, as did Taylor and Carrington. 
You always had that answer on the tip of your tongue there. And Heider, congratulations to you too. And Miss Reedy, thank you always for what you do. We love having Pointer Ridge here and we love having you here as well. We'll see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye-bye now. <laughs>